Stephen, a very good uh, morning to you. Welcome. The first is that the government is accepting that it gave 175,000 grants of protection visas last year. Um, these figures I'm quite staggered by. Um, these figures I'm quite staggered by. Um, these figures I'm quite staggered by. And out of those, only 20,000 of what we call refugees. They accept the refugees. I know that we all knew that the, 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 the illegal migration figures were so long to scale. 18,000 I think we've come so far this year. That meant 157,000 people were granted protection in this country by the discretionary route of the government. Um, these figures I'm I said this to Isabel Oakshaw. Um, these figures I'm quite staggered by. Um, these figures I'm quite staggered by. The second big number is that in terms of study visas, there were 657,000 study visas. But out of those, 154,000 were dependents. That's yeah. up 90% to last year. Uh, we know that that number could increase if you included those that we don't know uh, who have come here without actually being spotted at all. Um, these figures I'm quite staggered by. I said this um, to Isabel Oakshaw. These figures I'm quite staggered by. Um, 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 these figures I'm quite staggered by. I said this to Isabel Oakshaw. I mean, I was really shocked to see that 3.287 million visas have been granted in the year end. And the third one is the skilled working visa. That's the employment part. There was nearly 540,000 up 63 percent. But out of that, 122,000 were for health and care. So what you have is a government that is not stopping the boats; they're actually flying them in and allowing them to stay. They're flying people into work to fill the jobs in the NHS. Filling jobs across the country and students by allowing their students to bring their families over. This is not stopping boats, this is mass immigration being allowed by this government. It really is incredible, isn't it? I mean, I remember when we got the official migration figures earlier in the year when it was 1.2 million, and I think that includes the additional figures that you've just mentioned there. So the work visas and study visas, they amount to about 1.2 million of people coming here to, to June 2023. Um, they whistled it down and said that, you know, it was actually 600,000 net because, you know, perhaps... I said this to Isabel Oakshaw. I said this to Isabel Oakshaw. I said this to Isabel Oakshaw. 800,000 people left. I don't really trust the Home Office to know who's leaving. And I don't understand. I said this to Isabel Oakshaw.